Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Becca from At Home in the Sun. How are you guys doing? I have missed you so much. Um, it's been a long time since I have filmed a cash stuffing. Um, we have been traveling, so I am very excited to sit down and film with you guys today and chat with you guys today. Please let me know how you're doing in the comments. Also, I have to get caught up with everybody else's videos. It's been a while since I was I'm able to sit down and watch you guys' videos if you have channels, so I plan on getting caught up on videos very, very soon. So yeah, let me know how you're doing in the comments. Let's go ahead and get started. We are doing a regular cash stuffing today. Um, my next video will be savings challenges. So we have quite a bit to work with. It's been a while since I cash stuffed, so um, a little bit more to work with today. So let's see what we're working with. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, nine hundred. 920, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980, 990, 1000, and then 15. So $2,015 that we're working with today. Um, like I said, it's a little bit more than normal. So I'm really, really happy to have this much to work with today. So yeah, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing very, very well. So we actually traveled to two different places, two different states. Um, and I am so ready to be like home for a while and not do any more traveling. Like it was good. Um, both trips were good, but you know, we have three young children, so it's always challenging to travel with kids. Um, we did fly the first trip and then the second trip we drove about 10 hours one way and then 10 hours back. So. It was very long and I'm so thankful to be back home in beautiful Florida. All right, so we're gonna be stuffing four different binders today. So let's go ahead and start with my high priority binder. This beautiful resin binder is from Chicky Treasures on Etsy. Please go check her out. She does such beautiful work. So first up in here is groceries. Now I have mentioned before that we have another person um, living with us right now, temporarily another adult. Um, and they have been helping us out with groceries just a little bit. Um, they did give us a gift card to Aldi. So there's a hundred dollars on this. So I'm going to be using that. Very, very thankful for that. Um, so we are having to buy groceries for, um, our family of five and also another adult. So that is six people. So, um, a lot of groceries being bought. So we are adding a lot to groceries. So for the next two weeks, we're gonna add 500. That's the normal amount that I add. I'm not including this in there. So we'll have a little bit of a cushion in groceries, which is where I want to be. I want to have some cushion in groceries because um, we haven't had that for a while and it just feels like when I'm buying groceries, there's no cushion at all. Um, and so I, I will feel a lot more comfortable having this and still stuffing the same amount. So that is 500 and then our $100 gift card. And this is for two weeks. So we should be good for a while. All right, um, the next category is spending. So we're gonna be adding $110 to spending. 110. And for kids, we're gonna be adding $50. This is for anything that they need. Pets is gonna be getting 100 for our two dogs and our chickens. This takes care of their needs. And vet visits, I am scheduling one today for one of my dogs for her annual exam. So we're gonna add 100 to make sure that we have enough money for that. So 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260, 270, $275. That is more than we will need for her vet visit, but I also need to schedule um, her to get spayed. So I'm gonna have to start adding some more money um, into pets for her surgery coming up soon. So household is gonna be getting 250. This covers our Amazon subscribe and save, which is where we get most of our household stuff. So 250 for that. 
and a food forest is gonna be getting $50. Um, since we've been traveling, our yard is kind of a mess because um, we haven't been able to keep up with the yard work since we were gone. So um, food forest needs a little bit of love. The lawn needs a whole lot of love. So my husband will take care of that in the next couple weeks. Um, health is gonna be getting 300. Um, just a reminder that I am doing some out-of-pocket treatments right now um, with a functional medicine doctor. So that's why we are adding so much to health and we are using that every month for those out-of-pocket treatments that I have to do. Medical is going to be getting 50. I have had trouble like keeping money in this. This is supposed to be for long-term medical stuff and I keep having to pull the money out. So I'm hoping that I can actually leave this in here for a while and let it build up, but we'll see how it goes. Um, and we're gonna be adding $20 to beauty. And that's gonna be the end of our first binder, our high priority funds. So we're gonna move on to my second binder. So this one is also high priority. So the first category we have here is piano. My daughter is taking piano lessons. We're gonna be adding $70. This covers two weeks of lessons. I believe they're $35 a lesson. So two weeks of lessons is $70 for her piano. Car care is going to be getting its usual $50. Thankfully, we didn't have any issues with our car when we were traveling, but I know we are due for oil changes on both of our cars, my car and my husband's car, so that will be pulled from this. So we have $100 in the bank in car care, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, and $650 in car care and saving up for our car tags for 2024 we're going to be adding five dollars to car tags how is the weather where you guys are like i heard it's already snowing in some places we are so out of the loop here in florida because it's just hot it has been cooling off we've been getting a ton of rain like when we were gone there was a ton of rain here and it's still been really cloudy like it is when the seasons start changing. We have $30 in car tags, but how is the weather where you guys are? Is it getting really cold? Um, I'm al always interested to know because like winter time down here in South Florida is the best time of year. It feels so great. Um, life insurance is gonna be getting $5. So we have 15 in life insurance. And lot tax, this is property taxes for a second lot that we own coming up due, I think next month in November. So this one's almost fully funded. It's gonna be getting $100 today. And of course, you know, it went up like they do every year. Property taxes go up every single year. So 100, 200, $300 in the bank, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 750, and 770. So $770 saved so far in lot tax. And for our subscriptions, um, this is a digital one and we did not add anything to this um, with this paycheck. And for our debt check-in, um, I did not make a payment on this with this paycheck. So we're not gonna be coloring in a honeycomb with this one. All right, so the second binder is done. Let's move on to my low priority binder, which is this one here. All right, so travel is gonna get $10. So I was talking about going to a wedding, which you guys saw me save for like this entire year. I was doing savings challenges to save for a wedding, but I did not tell you about this second trip that we went on. Um, I don't disclose obviously everything about our financial situation, but I was saving for this wedding on camera, but there was also another trip that I was saving for off camera. So that's where the money came from for the second trip that we went on. Um, and like I said, I don't disclose everything um, just for you know personal reasons, but that's why you didn't see me saving for two trips at one time. But yes, we did um, have money saved in a separate um, place for that second trip and it did not come out of my travel fund. So travel we added $10 to so we have 20, 30, 35 and $40 
saved up for travel. We used all of this this past summer, so we are starting over our travel fund. Um, you and me, we're gonna be adding $10 to you and me. That one is empty. This is for my husband and I. So $10 in there. And Thanksgiving, we're gonna be adding 50. That is coming up next month. And I was talking to my husband, like I always say that we host Thanksgiving, but like I'm, I don't know, I'm not feeling like hosting this year. There's like so much going on um, with like just life. Um, I don't know if we're gonna end up hosting. And like I said, my dog has to have surgery and I'm probably gonna schedule that for like the week of Thanksgiving cause I'll be able to be home and not working and like stay with her and make sure she's okay. So we still have to save up money for Thanksgiving. Like even if we had it have it at a family member's house, you know, we have to contribute food and um, supplies and stuff like that. So we still need this money, but I'm not so sure if we're actually gonna be hosting it this year. So we have 100, 150, and 155 in Thanksgiving so far. My kids are already talking about it because they usually do a hot chocolate bar. Um, that my kids run like as a little store. Um, but I'm like, I don't know if we're gonna do that this year. We might just take a year off from hosting, take a little breather. Gifts is gonna be getting a 50. I have two family members with birthdays coming up um, at the end of October. So we have $60 in gifts so far. And special events, this is for any like get togethers, birthday parties. Um, things such as that. So that's gonna be getting $20. So we have $30 in special events. And we are not stuffing fun. All right, so this binder is done. So my last binder we're gonna be stuffing today is my homeschool binder. Okay, so the first category here in our homeschooling binder is curriculum. So we're gonna be adding $15 to this today. This is saving up for next year, or if anything comes up in the year that we need to purchase, we'll have this money available. So we have 50, 60, $75 in curriculum. Sometimes as a mom, and I'm also a teacher, I second guess myself about the curriculum that I pick for my kids. And sometimes I end up buying stuff throughout the year and changing things up because I see that it's not working for them. And thank, uh, very thankful for homeschooling that we're able to do that, change things up for our kids and make it work for them. Um, co-op is gonna be getting 15. My kids do attend a homeschool co-op a couple days a week. So this is for anything like field trips or fundraisers. So 2035 saved up for co-op. And then homeschool supplies, we're gonna be adding $10 to supplies today. So we have $30 in supplies. All right, so streaming hours, um, let's add $10 to streaming. So there's some programs that they do where we have to buy streaming hours. So that's what this is for. So 20, 30, $45 in streaming. And for homeschool subscriptions, um, there's some subscription based programs that they do on the computer as well. So we're gonna be adding $20 to subscriptions. And I think all of these we pay just once a year. So this will be saving up for next year's subscriptions. So we have 20, 40, and $60 in subscriptions. Okay, and homeschool evaluations, that's gonna be getting $5. So we have 10 and $20 in evaluations. And our last category in here is field trips. We have not gone on any field trips yet this year. We're still saving up money for that. So our $20 we're gonna be adding to um, field trips. So we have $70 left. And um, I have a 20 over here and I'm not sure where it goes. I'm looking at my notes thinking that I must have skipped it, but I'll have to figure out where that 20 goes because I am not sure, but I'll figure out where it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.